Hey, should we put apple juice in the risotto? The risotto was sweet. What's in there? Apple juice? An apple concentrate in a risotto. Come on. So when we see Soma make his risotto dish, it really comes down to him starting to evolve his dishes. And after watching Food Wars, you see the progression of risotto get better and better. First with the apple juice risotto, and then he does the risotto stuffed into the quail, and then he also does the omelet rice, which was also sort of a risotto in that one shokugeki, which came before the quail. Ah, uh, but risotto. Here's the thing with risotto, is that it is incredibly easy to make. It shouldn't be overly complicated, but the technique still has to be there. What's interesting about a risotto is that it's not exactly a dish, it's more of a method. In the same way you have fried rice, in the same way you have steamed rice, in the same way you have boiled pilaf, there are many ways of making rice just like there is a method to risotto. Realistically, you could make risotto with almost any grain, but it is best made with a traditional arboreal or a very starchy short grain rice. We're going to talk about why you need a starchy short grain rice as we start making this risotto. For this recipe, we're gonna use one onion, a couple of lemons, few apples, 750 milliliters of apple juice and water 50-50, and 250 grams of arboreal rice that was washed. You can use any apple that you want. These are beautiful apples here out of Oregon. They're a really nice gala apple, and I just want you to listen to this. Mm, this is like candy. Oh, so good, okay, mm, mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Your two main components are gonna be your onions and your apples. The onions we're gonna saute up with our rice and get these translucent before we start adding our liquid. In a medium saute pot, what you're gonna to wanna to do is take your onion and add it to your olive oil and start slowly sauteing together your onions with your rice. Realistically, you just want enough oil in this to slowly and lightly coat the rice and the onions. Now, as far as our liquid goes, this is half and half, apple juice and water. Typically, I do like to keep this hot, so what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna throw this in the microwave for a little bit and bring the temperature up. You can feel free to do this in a pot, but uh, I have no shame right now. Once your onions start to get a little translucent, this is when we're gonna start adding in our apple juice and our water after deglazing with our alcohol. But first, make sure you check in with your sous chef or your head chef just to make sure you can proceed with this next step. What do you think, buddy? Can we, can we do this? Do we have your approval? I'm gonna take that as a yes. I have about 50 milliliters of white wine and I'm gonna go ahead and deglaze the bottom of this. Remember, if you can't do alcohol, use some chicken stock, it'll be fine. Once your alcohol is cooked out, we're gonna start adding in our water and our apple juice. And we're gonna add it in just about a third at a time. But I also know that my pot is a little bit hot from how hot and sizzly our alcohol got. So I'm gonna turn it down just a little bit. I'm gonna go ahead and add in a third of this. Now the thing with risotto is that you want it kind of like on a low medium heat and you're constantly stirring it. And the risotto method is you actively releasing the starch in the rice at about a medium low heat. So that way you can get that really nice thick consistency on your risotto. Once there is no more remaining liquid at the bottom of your pot, this is when we're gonna add our second portion of liquid and continue to stir, stir, stir. Now you can see after constantly stirring this for the past five or six minutes, what's happening is that you start to get this really gorgeous creaminess in your rice and this isn't with all of our liquid. Now once I have no visible liquid at the bottom of this pot, that's when I'm gonna add the remainder of my juice, a little bit of lemon juice, some salt, black pepper, and then finish it with butter and cheese. With that last remainder of our apple juice, I'm also gonna add in our diced apple. All of my liquid is now out of my pan and it looks like the risotto is just about done. Give this a taste before you pull it off the heat. What you're really looking for is that the rice is actually done. Now that I know my rice is done, I'm gonna hit this with my lemon juice, a good bit of salt, black pepper, a couple of knobs of butter. I'm gonna add in just a bit of Parmesan directly to the rice as well. Now with everything in our pot, we have this beautiful, creamy risotto. Now just give it a taste, see if it needs anything else. Hmm, a little more salt. 
Now what I like to see in my risotto, honestly, is making sure that the granules of rice haven't exploded, but they are holding together. That's kind of what I'm looking for. So that way it stays super creamy, but you know that your rice isn't overcooked. Let's plate up. And there it is guys, a super simple apple risotto. This didn't take very long and honestly, I got a whole pot of this stuff. It shouldn't cost you a ton of money and yes, we did use apple juice instead of making our own puree or anything like that, but staying true to the show, I will say it's still pretty good. I mean, that's pretty good. I've probably made apple risotto over a thousand times. No exaggeration in my career. I had a sous chef who wanted to do nothing but put apple risotto on the menu. But you know the real challenge here, babe. Babe, are you decent? Are you naked? Can I feed you? There may or may not be video. Try my risotto. How is it? I made you crispy bacon. Not bad? Yeah, a little sweet. A little sweet. Yeah. Okay, it's pretty good. It's creamy, it's delicious, it's salty, has nice crispy bacon on there. Nothing to complain about. Have you ever made a risotto before? Let me know down in the comments below or if you wanna try this method. Check out my other videos on Foodie Friday where we bring anime and video game food to life. My name is Chef PK here on Foodie Friday. Get subscribed to remember, Keep playing with your food. Come on.